And we start tonight with a question. What is the state of California? Governor Gavin Newsom releasing a pre-recorded version of the address to social media today. Typically, governors deliver that speech in front of state lawmakers. ABC 10's Becca Habegger joins us in studio tonight with more on what was said and the response from both sides. Right, Becca? Yeah, Alex, in his pre-recorded State of the State video, Governor Newsom touted California's progressive values and railed against what he calls forces of darkness in our country, which he says threatens those values. But after the video was released, Republican lawmakers gathered on the state capitol steps to push back on Newsom's claims. There's only one state in America with a dream, the California dream. In his State of the State video, Governor Gavin Newsom touted California's protection of reproductive rights, fight for common sense gun control, commitment to environmental justice, innovation, and more. He also took a broader, more national look at divisions between red states and blue states. Catering to big business and the rich is also why red states tax their lowest earners far more than California does. You pay higher percentage of taxes if you're poor in Texas than you do if you're wealthy in California. It's about who you're fighting for. Everybody in California is know they pay the highest they pay the highest taxes, but they also pay some of the highest gas, you know, to get to work. They pay some of the highest utility bills. Um, so nobody is deceived, you know, that Gavin Newsom has somehow lowered costs or made or, or that taxes are reasonable in the state. Assembly Republican leader James Gallagher and Republican State Senator Brian Daly criticized Newsom's speech. He's talking about national issues when the issues are here at home. Democratic consultant Andrew Acosta says focusing on national issues makes sense. Not a shock. You know, there's a debate on Thursday. I think the the average voters probably now switching into what's going on between Trump and, and Biden, not, you know, hanging on every word of the governor's state of the state. So his message framework definitely seemed to be aligned with, you know, sort of base democratic politics. Voters are really struggling in California, right? And like, the disappointment with Gavin's speech today is he didn't really talk about that at all. Republicans questioned why Newsom released his speech as a video instead of a live address to state lawmakers. I believe the reason he didn't is because the state of the state is not very healthy. Acosta says the pre-recorded video doesn't bother him and he believes the governor is leading the state in the right direction. I think the governor is, you know, sort of in a bind that he's trying to uh, you know, fight a battle on two fronts. One of them is what's happening here when it comes to retail theft and fentanyl and, and homelessness, all issues that aren't easy. That being said, he's still leading the charge when it comes to issues on gun control and choice and being a beacon when it comes to a state that's welcoming to all. And you know, for a few of his state of the state addresses, Governor Newsom has bucked the trend of delivering a speech to the legislature. Last year, for example, he sent a letter to state lawmakers and then embarked on a four day statewide tour to highlight his major policy goals. And in 2021, during the pandemic, we should point out, he gave his speech from an empty Dodger Stadium, as you may recall. All right, Becca, thank you. And the governor's state of the state comes just days after state leaders made an agreement on the state's $298 billion budget. But as the governor touted the state's success, there was not much mention of the budget in Newsom's speech. State leaders announced the budget agreement over the weekend, which they say solves a $47 billion deficit. It comes with $16 billion in reductions to areas, including cuts to health care workforce programs, affordable housing programs, and the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. In the governor's speech, we heard a few mentions of the budget, including one re referencing the state approving its first ever two-year balance budget and another that the state knows how to balance budgets while protecting families and vulnerable populations. The president of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association says they're not surprised. The budget is the most important uh, bill the legislature passes every year. No, it doesn't surprise me that he doesn't mention it. I mean, he seems to focus on other grievances, uh, taking shots at um, what he calls red states like Florida and Texas. Uh, but those are the states that people are moving to. Budget talks have been ongoing for months now. The state of the state was initially scheduled for March, but delayed as the governor awaited the results of Prop 1. We did reach out to the governor's office, who said mentions of the state budget are consistent with past years. And you can read more about the state of the state address and the budget right now. Just head to our website, abc10.com.